Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. Praise the Lord. People of God, I greet you all in Jesus' name. Uh, my name is Dr. William. Please, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I will urge you to subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell so that any episode that I release, you will be notified. And please share. Leave a comment. If you don't understand anything, leave your questions on the comment section. I will attend to you very soon. I started this episode about the Bible or doctrine episode. We finished episode one and now we are on what episode two. Episode two is what? Bible doctrine one. This is now the Bible doctrine one. It's uh, the first episode. I did a brief introduction about what? About the Bible word doctrine. And today we are going to start with our Bible doctrine one. That is the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible. Before I will move on, let's have a short of prayer. Our Lord and Master Savior, we thank you. This ah, we thank you for the word that you've given to us. We thank you for the day that you have granted unto us. It is a privilege that we are being counted among the living ones. It's a privilege that we are being lived at this time. God, we thank you so much for the wonderful time you've given unto us, for the wonderful privilege that you've given unto us. Father, it's our prayer that this teaching we give an understanding of it so at the end of it we will understand and know you more and more thank and bless you in jesus name for you. amen amen hallelujah say amen wherever you are god bless you so much god bless you we are starting the uh bible doctrine and we are starting with what doctrine one and doctrine one is what the holy bible as you all know the Holy Bible what consists of uh, 39 Old Testament and what 27 what New Testament. It is the, what, the inspired word of God. We take the Bible as the final authority in all matters concerning Christians, conduct and work. Let's look at uh, 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 2nd timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 so 2nd timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 he said all scriptures is given by inspiration of god as i stated in the first episode that the word of god was not written by any author or anybody the apostles some of the apostles who wrote the bible like apostle paul those that wrote the bible they didn't write it by their own knowledge, their own wisdom. No, they wrote it to the inspiration of what of God. So, Second Timothy chapter, I said everything that is in the Word, in the stated Word, in the but everything about Christ, about God, about Christians, about our life and conduct on this earth, it is stated in the Bible. So, please, that's what I said. Read the Bible by yourself. It's, you see, I said it. I didn't quote a Bible verse, but now I'm quoting the verse. So, everything is what stated. So, when you read your Bible, you what you will get to know. So, please, kindly read the Bible by yourself so that you know the Word of God by yourself. Let's see. Um, Second Timothy chapter. Second Timothy chapter. 3 verse 16 and 17 says all scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instructions in righteousness these are the keywords profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction correcting someone or correcting what the uh some of the things to what in the Old Testament for what instructions the instructions God would give it to us to what to follow in what in righteousness verse 17 that the man of God may be perfect truly finished unto all good work 
when you study the word of God, when you know the word of God and do it, not study it, not knowing it without doing no, 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 no. When you study, you know it and you do it as it's what is stated, you become what a perfect man. You see, the Satan has a lot of things in order to what to to see the heart of what believer to see the heart of people. That's why I said I after all, no one is perfect. And you hear preachers saying that. When you know the word of God and you do it and you fear God, you do the will of God, you become what? Perfect. So you become perfect. Let me, uh, let's go to Proverbs. Proverbs. So Proverbs 35 and 6. Every word of God is pure. <laughs> God is wonderful. Hallelujah. Every word of God is pure. He is assured unto them that put their trust in him the word of god is a shirt like a canopy okay or like the branches you see when it go under a tree which have a lot of what branches see it created what a shade a shirt you see so the word of god what every word of god is what is pure unto them that put their trust in you in what in him when you put your trust in him the word of god is what is what pure Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before what I die. Before I die. The word of God is true. And Christians, let's read the word of God. Know it and do it. God is pure. God is holy. So therefore, we have to be what? We have to be holy. Let's look at Revelation. Revelation 22 verse 18 and 19. Revelation chapter 22 verse 18 and 19. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of his book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the preg that are written in his book verse 19 and if any man shall take away from the word of the book of the prophecy god shall take away his part out of the book of life Aha. if you add unto god what is stated into what in the word of god if you add unto it, God will, what, will add it. If you don't know and you take what is stated, if you take away part of it, there are some preachers, when they are reading the word of God, when they quote a version and they are reading it, they read part of it and leave part. They take part of it. God said, when you do that, you will take your parts from the book of what? Life. You will delete you. will take you off from the book of life because you are what? Taking what his part from what from the book that is what the Bible God said, Do not add and do not what take off, do as it is what written, it is what stated. I tell verse 19 again. And if any man shall take away from the word of the book of his prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city. And from the things which are written in his book. Amen. So please do not take part what is written in the book in the Bible and do not add. Do as it is stated. Say what is stated and do it. Preach it. When you preach it, preachers, when you preach it, do it. Be an example. As Christians, we are christ representative on this earth we represent christ on this earth our life should be that of what reflective of what of christ so that people will look at us and see what christ what true is we should not be the other way around there are some christians some people what looking at them their lifestyle and others kind of thing, say is that how christian is that i'm sorry i can't what i can't go to church i can't watch that. no People who, who also say that, please, I am telling you, the narrow way, God, and at the end of time, God will judge every man individually. 
don't say because of what this person has done don't say because of what this preacher has done because of that i will not watch god no heaven is itself by uh, for everyone for himself god for us all oh, everybody is fighting his own fight so fight your own fight do the will of god no matter the persecution please let's leave our comfort zone to the word of god and abide by the word by the word of god as so do we god word will bless us the holy spirit is an inspiration word of god and it is holy source of what knowledge of the word almighty god what to mankind it is the contact point between finite man and what and what the infinite word god its prime purpose is to give mankind revelation revelation of what of god the purpose of what of the bible is what is to give man revelation of of god as i read in what in second timothy chapter 3 verse what verse 17 the holy bible is what several refer to as what the holy word scriptures so without wasting my time the central theme of the bible is what is christ the central theme of the bible word is christ and his work of what redemption the central theme of what the bible is what is christ and his what work of what redemption Let, uh, let's read uh john chapter 20 verse 31 john chapter 20 verse 20, uh, 31 sorry john 20 31 1 3 but these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. The, these things are what are written that ye might what believe that Jesus is what is Christ, the Son of God, that believing in him he might have what life or true what his name the bible was what was written another benefit, reason for the bible that was written that you might what believe that jesus christ what is what is the son of god and you believing in him he might what have what life that's what internal life let's look at luke luke 24 luke 24 i've said it all over and over like again that everything that we need to know is in the about in the bible luke 24 verse 25 sorry verse 25 to 27 25 to 27 say then he said unto them oh fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophet hath have spoken ought not christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory verse 27 and beginning at moses and all the prophet he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning what himself the thing concerning himself so let's look at uh, revelation chapter 1 verse 1 it said the revelation of jesus christ which god gave unto him to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass and he sent and signified it by his angels unto his word his servant what john unto his servant what john so without what wasting my time he is jesus is what is the old testament what Council the is the old testament word council and the word and the new testament review jesus is the word the new testament review he came to what to review and explain what what is in the word in the old testament he came to what to explain it and review what the new word testament were to us to fully understand before you fully you see you can't just nobody at all can just what understand the word of god uh, the bible and what and the word of god by just what hearing it that is why it is good for you to what, to read it by yourself before you fully understand the word of god to be fully understand what the bible and write interpret 
eight what messages to understand the word of God and what and right what interpret his message. We must first what receive Jesus Christ. That is why it is what advisable receive before you understand you have to what receive Jesus Christ as what as your personal and Lord was Savior. Repent from your sin. Go to God. God, I am sorry. Pray. Learn how to pray by yourself. Stop moving around. Small th- Some people, when they are having a headache and they call their pastor, Pastor, make night. At midnight, they are calling their pastor. At midnight, they are calling woman of God. At midnight, they are calling man of God. Man of God, my stomach. And learn how to pray by yourself. Praying to God is a having personal conversation to your to your friends or with your friends. Pray to go knee down, like you are talking to to your friend, talking to God. Close your eyes, God. I am so sorry. I am a sinner. I never knew. It is because of my sin, because of me, that is why you sent your only begotten Son to come to this earth to die, to use the blood to pay for my sin. He paid the price, the highest price on what on earth. He paid the price, the highest price on earth, to uh, to uh, pay for what our sins. God, please forgive me. Cleanse me from now onwards. I am yours. Please forgive me and you'll be forgiven. And please, and when you pray that prayer, do not go back to your former words, to your sin again. Don't go back to the thing that you used to do drink alcohol, smoking, snapping people's husbands and wife, um, stealing, fornicating, uh, corrupting, quick temper, angry, theft backbiting gossiping all these the petty petty things that they are saying but people would overlook it lying small small lying so some of the women they ask the question immediately we open our mouth we are lying all these things were absent let's forget pray to god for forgiveness of sin and you don't go back to it before you can understand the word of God, the message and interpret it, you need to accept Jesus Christ as a Lord and personal Savior. Repent from your sin. Read the Bible by yourself. Pray always by yourself. And God will reveal himself to you. And you will, you will understand what the word of God. So, to bring this episode to an end, the purpose of the Bible, the purpose of the Bible is what? Is to bring or reveal God what to man the purpose of the Bible is what is to reveal God to man that's the main word purpose word of the of the Bible and to unbelievers the Bible what brings bring conviction of what of sin which leads to what repentance reading the Bible Send the Bible. The Bible help us what to convert because when you read it, it talks about our sins, how Jesus Christ came, the way He died for us, and because of all this, when you read and you get the knowledge of it, it helps you to repent what from what from your sin, and also exhibit the habit of what prayers, pray always, pray every day. Pray each and every day. Pray always. Pray without what season. And doing all these kind of things, God is what? God will never what leave you. God is surely going to be with you. Don't look at what people will say about you. Don't look at friends. Don't listen to people. Sit on. Look unto God. Fear God. Do the will of God. Pray. Seek the face of God. And he is just and able to forgive your sins. Repent now. Seek it first. Read your Bible. Don't be a church goer. Don't go and be part of the multitude. Don't go and fill the church room. No. Go to church to listen to the word of God, to awaken your spirit. That's the purpose we go to church, to listen to the way to awaken our spirit, to remind ourselves what God for, had for us in between of it, not going to or to fill it. Some people go to church with mirrors in their back, with pancake and other things in their back, so much that they polish their face. Are you worshiping God? Are you God? Some people, they go to church when they have new clothes. 
new shoes to go and show off things that they are their purpose that they go to church no go to church with the purpose of going to listen to the word of god to awaken your spirit to mind us and what god have for you repent for your sin pray always repent preachers do as you what you what you say members do what christ has stated in the bible do it both in your secret places and in public and doing that god will show you with you god bless you Thank you so much. My name is Dr. William. Stay blessed. The next episode, we are going to talk about uh, Bible doctrine too, which is what God, the, what the God had, the God had, that is Bible doctrine too. So stay tuned and be ready. God bless you. Bye-bye.